Lesson 1. Noun Clauses In previous modules of this course, you learned that the subject of a sentence can take three forms, a noun, a pronoun, or a noun phrase, as in these three sentences. Now consider this sentence. Here, as in the first three sentences, the verb is was, and the subject complement is the predicate adjective wonderful. In this sentence, however, the subject is the subordinate clause, what we ate for lunch. This clause begins with the subordinating conjunction, what, and has its own subject and verb, making this sentence a complex sentence. When a subordinate clause functions as the subject of a sentence, it's called a noun clause. Like a noun phrase, a noun clause is a set of words that, as a whole, functions as a noun within a sentence. But, unlike a noun phrase, a noun clause has its own subject and verb. Thus, with minor structural changes, a noun clause could function as a complete sentence on its own. A noun clause can also function as the direct object of a sentence. For example, in this sentence, the noun clause, that you lived in Portugal, functions as the direct object. Again, this clause includes its own subject and verb. Somewhat less commonly, a noun clause can also function as the indirect object of a sentence, as this example illustrates. As a final example, in this sentence, the noun clause, why Rona quit her job, functions as a subject complement, specifically a predicate noun. Note that in each case, a noun clause has its own subject and verb and, in some cases, additional sentence elements that you're already familiar with.